I was Facebooking today with my nephew Weston telling him that I was going to be cutting up a pig out in my garage which we uh, bought here not too long ago and I said that I was going to try making bacon on my smoker so what we have here are pork bellies well, first of all my apologies to anybody out there who's an actual butcher and knows what they're doing because this probably looks pretty grim and pretty bad but anyway it's going to be my attempt to make bacon I'm going to be doing a dry rub bacon and so I'm making the rub here and this is equal portions of pickling salt which is non-iodized salt brown sugar and maple syrup we're going with two cups of each and then I'll be rubbing that in now thank goodness for uh, my dad who lives in the Maritimes otherwise I don't think I'd be using this much maple syrup but he gives me jugs of it periodically okay so now I just have to mix this all up so We'll come back in a minute when this is all mixed up and start rubbing it in. I've mixed up the dry rub and it doesn't really look that dry. So anyway, I added a little extra salt because uh, I saw several recipes and one called for equal portions. The other one's all called for a little less maple syrup. But I'm kind of very pro maple syrup so I decided to go with lots of maple syrup. So I went with the one that called for more. Anyway, now we just rub it right on in there with all these pieces and we turn them over and we rub it in the other side too. And then they're going to go into plastic bags and go into the fridge for a week or so. And then after that, maybe we'll see when, we, when I video it then, but when they come out they'll be kind of sitting in a brine because it'll pull water out of the meat and replace it with salt. And we all know we need to get lots of salt to keep our blood pressure up. So you'll notice that these uh, bellies don't have the rind on them because they're kind of home butchered and we don't have the capability to scald a pig and scrape the hair and all of that. So we make do with what we can. That means we skin the pig but, as Weston, my professional consultant, said, more taste, less waste, if you don't have the rind on it. So, I told him that was going to be my ad slogan for my bacon company. So, I'll just keep rubbing these in, and then we'll come back. And well, the bacon is in the bags. Or, actually, it's just pork bellies at this point. So now it'll sit in there for about seven days in the refrigerator downstairs and every day I'll turn each of those bags over to let the brine that starts to get created by that cure uh, soak into the meat real good. So anyway, hopefully soon we'll be making bacon. It's seven days, yeah, seven days later since I put it into the put the bacon into the bags with the dry cure. I had to pull it out of the bags after a few days because it was just leaking all over the place anyway so I figured I might as well pull them out and then I uh, rotated them through uh, and took the top ones and put them on the bottom but I'll show you here in a minute this is cured now it technically is bacon at this point that's all I'm told. You pull these things out and you can see down on the bottom all that liquid. That is all what's come out of these pork bellies. All that salt is gone, or shall we say it's been absorbed. So this meat is now filled with salty goodness. So, as you can see, we've got quite a pile of meat here ready to make into bacon. But I'm just going to have to give it a rinse off. Just to give you an idea, we'll pour all this over here. There's all that brown. I suppose it's a fairly high proportion of maple syrup. Time to rinse all this off. And give each piece a good rinse. And put it in here. We tried a sample of it the other day. We just took a couple of slices and fried them up to see what it was like. And Chris was of the opinion that it was perhaps a little too salty. Fine, I thought it was just fine. 
any case, we're going to put a little water in here and let it soak for, oh, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. And then it will go out into the garage. I've got a place rigged up for it to hang, and it's going to have to dry for about a day. Because apparently you want it to be nice and dry to the touch when it goes into the smoker. So, more later. Bye. Well, here we have the bacon hanging out in the garage. It needs to hang in a cool, dry place. And my garage is both cool and dry at the moment. It's been about 30 to 20 to 30 below for the last few days. So about the only difference between my garage and a meat locker right now is that most meat lockers don't have boats in them. There's my old wooden boat which I'm going to restore, allegedly. But I figure it's sitting right around the freezing point in here, right around zero degrees, maybe a degree or two above. So that should be good to dry there for a couple of days, and then into the smoker it goes.